Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. A lot of noise around this Missouri program not playing big games in the month of September. Well, I don't think a lot of people had on their bingo card. Boston College coming on the road as a top 25 team in the country. Play Missouri Week 3. Want to get into, I think, some fascinating matchups that you're going to see in this football game. Obviously include my pick and prediction at the end of the episode. You look at this Boston College team, a really impressive performance going on the road and beating Florida State in Tallahassee. Now, I think the question is, how impressive was that win? Because Florida State obviously has not looked very good to start the season. And then you look at Missouri. Defense is dominating, haven't given up a point throughout the first two weeks. Obviously not playing very good football teams yet. This is an opportunity for us to really get a feel for both this Boston College program and Missouri. And I think a fascinating cross-conference matchup in week three. Fired up to get into it now. Before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys and the amount of support y'all have shown the boys for these kind of game previews and predictions. It's been amazing. Appreciate you guys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Much more importantly, would love to hear from y'all in the comment section. A lot of different ways you can see this game. I know the Missouri fans are relatively frustrated with me right now because I had Missouri ranked probably a little bit lower than they should be ranked. And so this is an opportunity for Missouri to kind of move up those rankings. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And let's start with this Boston College offense going up against the Missouri defense that, again, hasn't given up a single point. The secondary it has been insane, and I get it. They haven't played elite football teams throughout the first two weeks. But you look at the numbers, they've given up a 30% completion percentage. Two opposing quarterbacks, that's number one in the country. 2.8 yards per pass attempt, that's number three in the country. The big matchup here is, hey, we know what Boston College is going to want to do on offense. They got two really good running backs. They got a dynamic quarterback in Thomas Castellanos. They run the football 73% of the time throughout the first two weeks. They're going to want to run the football. They got a lot of dynamic kids in terms of having the football in their hands. I think they have an offensive line that is pretty damn good and went on the road to Florida State and really just physically, for lack of better terms, imposed their will on this Florida State defense, which I think a lot of people think the Florida State defensive line is quite good. And so Boston College is going to run the football. If you're Missouri on defense, I think you're forcing Thomas Castellanos to beat you with his arm. And I think there's a, that's easier said than done because you look at Thomas Castellanos, what makes him – yeah, such a great quarterback, especially at the college level, is not only do I think he has an underrated arm when he wants to push the ball down the field, but when he is operating as a passer, he is so good at getting outside of the pocket, extending plays, and letting his pass catchers have just a little bit more opportunity to create separation down the field. So if you're Missouri, I think you are walking your safeties into the box. I think you are forcing Boston College to throw the football on this defense. And then when they do want to throw the football, you got to force Thomas Castellanos to stay in the pocket. Now, I think Boston College fans would certainly be the first to admit this as well. Thomas Castellanos shows that he's, I wouldn't say he's uncomfortable as a pocket passer, but that's definitely not how he wants to operate. Like He wants to get outside the pocket. He wants to play a little bit of backyard football. The biggest key to this football game, at least in my opinion, is I think Missouri should be able to match up pretty well on the outside. The secondary has been good all year. Boston College has a few exciting wide receivers, probably most notably a guy in Lewis Bond. But I don't think that's a huge matchup that Boston College is going to try to exploit. So if you're Missouri and you can stop the run on first and second down, force this Boston College offense to be in those third and long situations and then get after the passer, but keep Thomas, Cast Thomas Castellanos in the pocket and prevent him from extending, extending plays and using his legs, that's probably what you're trying to do if you're Missouri on the defense side of the football. And hey, what was the biggest question mark I had about Missouri and kind of why I might have ranked them a little bit lower than they should have? You lose a guy like Darius Smith in the preseason. And our biggest question about Missouri, I say Missouri checks a lot of boxes. And we're going to get to the boxes they check on the offensive side of the football. My biggest question mark is how elite, how dominant can this front seven be? Having to replace guys like Darius Robinson from last year. We're probably going to get that answer a little bit against a really good Boston College team that wants to run the football. And so that's probably where my eyeballs are going to be on the most. 
Now you flip the side here, Boston College really, really good on defense so far. Again, went on the road to Florida State, held them to 13 points. And even those 13 points that they scored, you could argue some were kind of in garbage time. Like I think this Boston College defense, specifically in the front seven and what they were able to do against, you know, a Florida State offensive line and rushing attack that we thought was going to be pretty dang good. Boston College went on the road to Tallahassee and held their own. Now the bigger challenge for Boston College in this game is Missouri is significantly more multidimensional on offense than Florida State is. And I think this is what I love most about Missouri on offense is there are so many different ways they can attack an opposing defense. I think they have one of the most underrated offensive lines that you see in the country. They got two really talented running backs. Obviously, Brady Cook can extend plays and use his legs as well. But Nate Noel, Marcus Carroll, a really good offensive line, a really good offensive line that not only really good in pass, bro, Brady Cook hasn't been sacked yet. They're road graders. Like they are nasty bodies off the line of scrimmage. So Missouri can run the football. And if you're Boston College and you don't think you can match up with them and you have to put safeties into the box and kind of allocate some more bodies to try to stop this run game, like we all know Missouri can push the ball down the field. Obviously headlined by Luther Burden on the outside. But I think the biggest storyline for Missouri on offense so far is they're having some other guys step up, right? Theo Weiss, a guy that was a former five-star wide receiver, decides to come back for one more year for Missouri, over 100 yards uh, against Buffalo last weekend. And so I think the the most exciting part about this Missouri offense is you could have argued that last year it was only Brady Cook, Garrett Schrader, and Luther Burden. I don't think that's necessarily a fair argument, but I think if teams could stop Garrett Schrader on the ground and Luther Burden in the air, that would give Missouri's offense some trop, some troubles. I think they're a little bit more multidimensional now. Now you have Luther Burden, and it's much easier said than done to try to take Luther Burden out of a football game. And Coach Drink does such a phenomenal job, you know, scheming up Luther Burden and getting him the football and opportunities in a lot of different ways. But you have Theo Weiss. You have a guy in Marquise Johnson who will be the fastest football player on the field Saturday. You have guys like Norfleet. I think that this Missouri team from an offensive standpoint is a lot more versatile and multidimensional than a lot of people give them credit. And I think that's what makes their offense, I think, so unique in 2024. When you look at the landscape of college football, there are so many offenses that, yeah, they might have a really good quarterback and wide receiver. I think Arizona is a phenomenal example of this. right? Noah Fafita and T-Mac, maybe the only quarterback wide receiver battery that's better than Brady Cook and Luther Burden. But that's kind of all they have. You look at Missouri and say a lot of different ways. If you want to try to take away Luther Bird, Missouri can run the football. Missouri has other options to go to in the passing attack. And I think because they're so multidimensional, my biggest question is, does Boston College have enough guys in the back end to deal with all the difference makers that Missouri brings to the table? Now, getting into the pick at 16 and a half points, I think Missouri's got too much firepower. I like them at home. And this is a game that I think the Missouri fans will be really excited about. And I think as a Missouri fan heading into 2024, you're kind of like, all right, sleepy September. Let's just get through September and then get to, get to some of our SEC games later on. I think now the narrative is, hey, we got a top 25 team, a team that can run the football and play good defense coming to Missouri this weekend. I think you're going to see the crowd really get into this football game. I think Missouri is going to be ready for what I think is probably a test that they did not expect four or five weeks ago. I'm going to go Missouri with the points. I think they just have too much offensive firepower. And I think it comes down to, you know, Boston College, in my opinion, maybe a little one dimensional in terms of the rushing attack on offense. You look at Missouri. I just think they got so many different ways to beat you. I think they got some caliber of athletes that I'm not sure Boston College can necessarily deal with in the back end. This Missouri team can put up points and put up points fast. And I just not sure if Boston college will be able to keep up. I don't love laying 16 and a half points. I think Boston college is a pretty dang good football team, but I'll take Missouri in the points to get this one done. I think you're going to see some points put up on the board. I just think Missouri is probably going to come out with a lot more points than Boston college. going to be a really fun game. Kind of a weird kickoff time, 1245. I, I don't think the TV uh, the TV scheduling knew this would be as an exciting game as we're going to expect. So give me Missouri in the points. A really fun game. I think we're going to learn about both of these programs a lot come Saturday afternoon. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. Again, if you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all.